Hello everyone. In our last video, we have made our website look nicer. We have also added a, a navigation to our components. So the last thing that we have done with the update component was that we could be able to get this identification number from Firebase real-time database. And we displayed it here because we need it. I mean, we need this identification number so that later we can grab this and update the values inside this specific object or document and now what we're gonna do is that we will create a button for each uh, object and then when we click on those buttons those buttons will grab this identification number will direct us to another route which we will soon create with this identification number as an id as an id attribute for that uh, path and then we will be going to a page like this very similar to very similar to this one and it will have this banana and this yellow fruit already def already inside those input fields and then we would be updating it by using this uh, update button so let's do the first part let's let's add this button inside our update read component and now as you can see we have uh, on click event attached to navigate and inside the navigate we have backticks because we will add a dynamic uh, data to the navigation uh, navigation parameter and we will be passing this id attribute just like this i mean this id attribute is coming from item fruit id which we have previously grabbed from firebase real-time database by using those uh, functions here and once we click on update it will take us to update right route and now we can define this route so let's go to app.js and the first thing to do is to import a component which we will soon create it will be called update right and then we can create a route and the path is going to be uh, i mean we will be defining the path as firebase id okay and now we can create update right component we have created update right and as you can see it's empty but i told you that the update right will be very similar to right so we can just grab the right component paste it here we will be changing these names to update right it's finished now let's change this header and also button now it looks nice so the first thing we we need to update our import statements so we will need to import use params because we will be grabbing that id attribute by using this use params hook and here we have reference set push but we also need get soon you will know you will understand why we need get and we are not going to need push actually because we are not going to be creating a new record we will be updating an existing one that's why we don't need push and here we have use state but also we will use use effect now let's first see why we need use params because we will be grabbing this parameter this one i mean this id attribute so it's called firebase id we just need to copy it go to update write component and that's it actually so now let's first use use effect why we are going to use use effect because with use effect, I told you that when we click on this, this oh, we don't have it yet. But when we click on the button here, it will take us to this update right component. And inside the update right, we will have two input fields. And these two input fields, they will already be with some values inside. So to put those values inside, we need to create this use effect. So that it will render those values whenever these uh firebase id changes so we can grab this firebase id and paste it here we don't need this first third thing now let's create a function uh, why we need to create a function we will soon understand why we need to create it let's say fetch data is equal to faa yeah we need a function here inside use effect because we cannot make use effect asynchronous so we need a separate function to make it asynchronous that's why we are creating this function here and Maybe I can go to this read component because what I'm going to be creating will, will, will be very similar to this fetch data. 
with some minor changes. So now let's go to update right. And actually I can just paste it here. Exactly, that looks nice. So this line will stay the same. DB reference, reference DB nature fruits, it's nice, but we need one more thing actually. We need to put one slash here and plus, plus what? Plus fruit base, fruit, where is it? Firebase ID, yeah. Why we need to put this Firebase ID right here? Because if we don't put it, it will grab all the data inside the fruits folder. Fruits folder, as you can see, it has many, uh, many objects, not just one object. So we don't need all the objects. We just need that specific object. That's why we are putting this Firebase ID here. And later snapshot, let me see if everything is fine, get DB reference. Yeah, that's also fine. And if snapshot exists, if it exists, then what? Then we will create a target object actually. So let's say const target object is equal to uh, snapshot, snapshot what? Snapshot dot wall, because we don't need everything. We just need, I mean, we don't need, let me show you, we don't need all the things here. We just need these two fields, okay? Not uh, this identification number. So that's why we are saying snapshot dot wall. Now we can go one line down, grab this set input value one, also grab this set input value two. Now put some parentheses, also parentheses here. So I guess you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna say target object for the both set, put a comma, oh, sorry, put a dot to this one also. So the first one is gonna be fruit name, and the second one will be root definition. That's it, actually. I think use effect is finished, but I need to call this function inside use effect. So whenever use effect renders, it will trigger this function inside, and this function, as it is asynchronous, it will successfully get data from Firebase the real-time database and display it right here, okay? So this function is finished. Now we need to also create a save function. Okay, so the first thing to do, maybe we can change the name here. Let's say override data. And also this one, let's say override data. And let's check what we need to update. We don't need push because we are not gonna be creating a new document. So let's delete this one. And then new doc graph, that's fine. But we also need to put this slash plus firebase id because we want to update a specific document and that's it now let's save everything and let's save everything and let's save everything now let's check correct and let's open it here actually well it's already here but let's go to update read so now i am on the update read component and as you can see we have the buttons here so if i click on this mango it takes me to mango and a description for the fruit. So maybe instead of mango, I will just say jackfruit. And if I click on update, data update successfully. Let's see if it really updated successfully. Let's go to update read. Let's display data. Well, yeah, it updated successfully. So that's it for the update component. And see you next time. Bye bye.